installing tools. So they recommend to add in a system logger for OpenRC. So let's add that in. and add it to the default run level so it gets started at boot time. Cron daemon, that's a good thing to have. There are certain processes that may need to be performed regularly. So I can merge that. and add that to the startup. There's a couple of extra options there, other options if you want to use a different type of cron program. File indexing could be a good idea. Merge and locate so that build up a database of files for system searches. So messages there. The database will locate models generate daily by cron job. If you install for the first time you can run the update DDB only now. So let's run that now to create an initial database. Looks like that's done. It's obviously a small system at the moment, so there's not much to do. Optional shell remote shell access. Um, I'm gonna allow um, root access initially because it's useful while the system is being set up to gain access as root but afterwards I'll be taking root access away so that only the standard user um, will be able to access the system remotely and I need to edit the etc ssh sshd file sshd config and modify this will actually add in this permit root login and set it to yes and now I can add this to the startup script so that the daemon is run when the machine starts if you need access to serial consoles you need to add this to the init tab I don't so I don't need to do that Bash completion, always very useful. Some people don't like it because it adds, um, I believe, a lot to the environment. Um, uh, if I do set there, oh, there's already a lot in there anyway. Um, but it adds, oh yeah, there is a lot, oh, colours. I think it adds a lot more in, um, I think, am I thinking of that LS colours? Yeah, maybe that's the LS colors. That's done. Next, suggest about adding this in for NTP synchronization. So let's add that in.
add it to the startup scripts and I think there's a Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm going to comment these out and put in my own server because I've got a local one, but otherwise those defaults are fine. So I'll just replicate what's already there, but change the destination address. file system tools so we definitely need to merge XFS progs because that's the main file system um, this will be useful to have for other file systems for example on USB drives DOSFS tools that could be useful and we've got a if you remember the EFI partitions um, VFAT um, probably don't need these at the moment. I usually use a ZFS. In fact, I will install ZFS at the moment while I'm here. I may as well install all of them actually. Um, now I'll just install what we've got for the moment, leave the others as they are. So AV, A is to ask, V is to give a verbose, more verbose output here. Just so you, can, so you can see a bit more information. Accept that. Okay, it's done. It recommends to install this IO scheduler UDEV rules for NVMe devices. So let's add that in. Don't want the DHCP client. I'm not going to install networking now because I don't really use it. It can be a bit of a pain to set up. 